Gordon, this is Edward who lives in Danielsville, Pennsylvania. He noticed a sore on his left shoulder. It was very uncomfortable, caused him sleep problems since he couldn't lay on his back. He was watching this program, and Gordon, you had this word. There's someone, you had a mole. It's painful. It's between your shoulder blades, but it's on the left side of your spine on your back. God's healing you right now. You just felt something go through that area of your back. You felt that healing touch you. In the name of Jesus, be released from that right now and be healed in his name. By faith, Edward believed he was healed. He called CBN's prayer line rejoicing to report the sore is completely gone. His sleep problems gone with it. Hallelujah. Well, here's one. Since the 1970s, that's a long time. Irene of Florence, Oregon, suffered with esophagus and painful stomach issues. Swallowing was a huge challenge. She was watching this show just um, last uh, two months ago, April. Terry said, you have a hole in your stomach. It's been life interrupting. God is healing that for you, and it will not recur. The issues you've been dealt with will be gone in Jesus' name. Well, by faith, Irene claimed the word. And afterwards, no pain, no wow. difficulty swallowing since the 1970s, healed in an instant from a word. Mm. Now, how does that happen? Well, it happens when you believe and the word becomes flesh. What the Gospel of John proclaims in the chapter one, in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. And the word became flesh and dwelt among us. Let God's word become flesh in you. It's that powerful. And don't think it's far from you. It's right there. It, it, he breathed life into you. He wants to breathe his word into you. And when you get that word and you understand it and it germinates, well, then healing is a natural result. It's wonderful. I can't explain it. Nor can I explain how a seed germinates and grows into a big tree. But it happens, and I believe it happens. And when you believe it happens, that word of God can germinate in you. Let's pray. Let's believe God, and he will do the rest. Pray with us. Lord God Almighty, we come to you. We come to you believing, believing that you forgive all our iniquities, believing you heal all our diseases, believing in the one that you sent, the word who became flesh and became our salvation. Lord God Almighty, stretch forth your hand to forgive us. Stretch forth your hand to heal every single disease in Jesus' name. Um, there's a man named Tony, and you have an, uh, like an ulcerated condition in your small intestine. Mm -hmm. It is extraordinarily painful. God's calling you by name, Tony, and he is healing everything concerning your digestion. All of that pain, that doubling over pain, in Jesus' name is gone now. You will be whole. You will be able to eat anything you want. In Jesus' name, be healed and be made whole. Terry? Yeah, there's someone else with a digestive problem. You, um, you have reflux, but it's more than that. You actually bring up like a brown acid that burns your throat, burns your mouth. It's terrible. God's healing that condition for you right now. You're just going to have a completely new experience with any food that you eat. Um, but also that burning sensation is gone in Jesus' name. Well, there's someone you've got a curvature in your spine, and God is just straightening that for you. Lift both of your hands to the Lord and just realize everything just straightened for you. Everything just fell, fell into place. All the pain that you've been living with for so long is now gone in Jesus' name. Uh, someone named Nadine, you have a problem with your right kidney, and God's healing that for you right now. Uh, that pain is leaving you. All of that infection is leaving you. The mass is leaving. In Jesus' name, be healed and be made whole. Yeah, and there's a woman. You're, I don't know where you're watching this program because you don't have a home of your own. You don't even have a TV, but you are 
watching this and saying, I need God in my life. You're a drug addict and you have had such issue with, you've tried and tried and tried. This is your moment. Just lift up your hands and begin to praise God as he sets you free from that addiction. Your children ultimately will be returned to you in Jesus' name. Lord, we thank you. We thank you for all that you do for us, all that you became for us, for you became sin that we might be freed from the law of sin and death. Thank you for what you have done, what you are doing, and what you will do. We thank you for it. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. If you've been healed, let us know. Give us a call, 1-800-700-7000. Uh, and, and if you need prayer, we're here for you. And we're here for you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. All you have to do is pick up the phone and call us. Number's on the screen, 1-800-700-7000.